everybody. Well, <laughs> I haven't been on this stage for a while. It feels great, even though I can't see anything. Um, this morning I had a job interview, and it's an interview I've known about for a couple of weeks. And it's a job that I really want. It's a full-time job, and it's stepping into something more for me. And um, <laughs> soon after I found out about it, I noticed some old memories and thoughts and beliefs creeping in. And they were such that they weren't serving me very well. And memories can sometimes do that. Now, I was listening to Deepak Chopra just yesterday, and he said, I use memories, but I don't allow memories to use me. And I thought, yeah, I, I can't let these memories use me. So I began to treat, well, this was, this was before. Um, I have been treating for a couple of weeks, but I really got into knowing that this interview was going to be successful that um, everything about it was going to be a success. And I was going to, more even than that, that I was going to feel successful. It was important to me to feel successful. So I asked Reverend Nancy to know that for me as well, which she did. And Ernest Holmes says, you must find the place inside yourself where nothing is impossible. So I would treat until I felt that. I would treat until <clears throat> there was that absolute knowing. Okay, so I also did something I've never done before, and that is I didn't plan what I was going to say tonight because I knew I had this interview, <laughs> and I knew that I wanted to just talk about how this interview was so successful for me. So that was a big leap for me. So I get for the interview, I get there. I walk in, there's two women sitting at a table, and there's a little table that I was to sit at facing them. And hard, there was hardly anything said, and I said hi, and they said hi, but they didn't introduce themselves. They were just very like, almost like stone face. And their name badges were in front of them, so I said, oh, Joanne and Kathy, <laughs> because I wanted to make it more you know, warm and, and friendly because it didn't feel that way. So we progressed with the interview. Uh, it was being recorded. She said, please state your name, and then I will start the questions. So, <laughs> so I did so. <laughs> and, um, and we finished the questions. And she literally would read a question like, tell about a time when you uh, experienced a difficult client or whatever. Anyway, it was just bizarre to me that this is how this interview was going. But I finished it, I answered everything, and on my way home I was noticing I felt out of sorts. I just felt weird. And I got home and I thought, okay, now I have to make a talk from this interview. I have to talk about my successful interview. <laughs> and it was like I was, I was going, oh my God, I feel so weird about this interview. So there was something in me that was just nagging at me. Finally, I listened. It was go for a walk. So I went outside, and during my walk, I was just processing, processing. And what kept coming to me was this visual of a white, cold, stark, hard surface. It was like that's what it felt like I was looking at in, d during this interview. And further, the words were a blank slate. And I was like, what? But I kept with it. I, I kept walking and, and processing. And the blank slate soon became, oh my gosh, a blank slate. That's not bad. And I thought, oh, maybe the idea was for me to fill that blank slate with, with who I am, with my, my uniqueness, my color, my texture. Maybe that's what that was all about. And so I totally got that I, I was reframing the whole interview from, from feeling really disconcerted and out of joint I went to, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. And whether it was or not, it didn't matter. For me, I suddenly had a successful interview. It, it felt successful because I got to that place. So Ernest Tom says, we may assume that spiritual man is already a success, is already supplied with everything he needs. Well, of course. 
And I realized in that moment that why I was feeling so out of sorts was I was a little bit allowing these women to make me feel like somehow I was not right. I was not doing the interview right. There was something where I was not measuring up somehow. And I got, oh my gosh, just because I wasn't how they were doesn't mean I wasn't successful, of course. And it was this big like aha thing for me. And um, I, I found this quote that that just really spoke to me. It said, always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other one thing. So my, my commitment to staying with, I am going to have a successful interview. I am gonna feel successful when I come out of there. That was, that was making itself known. That was becoming reality. Even though when I left the interview, I didn't feel that in the beginning. So I got that we are certainly all cause to our own success. That, I mean, we are all cause to our own success. So it's, you know, it's really about the work up here. And I, of course I know that, I'm a minister, I know that. But today I got it in a different way that really spoke to me and really made a difference. And um, <laughs> as a postscript, I was just about to leave here, and I looked on my computer, and I had checked with the person before, when will I find something out about this interview? She said, oh, in a couple of days, we'll be emailing you. Well, there was an email on my computer right before I came here, and it said, congratulations, you have moved to the next uh, rung of interviews. <laughs> I know. And here I was thinking that I had done a bad interview, that it was a bad interview that I didn't, I mean, I wasn't thinking totally that, but I was going there. I was going in that direction. And then it said, um, you have scored a 94.4 on the, <laughs> on the interviewing rank. So anyway, I just thought that was great and I had to share that tonight. So now our affirmation. <laughs> when I know who I am, success is inevitable. Let's say that together. When I know who I am, success is inevitable. Let's do it again. When I know who I am, success is inevitable. Great. So now, just join me in just knowing your own success. Knowing that the one power, the one presence is all good, all success, all prosperous, everything good. And that is who we are. That is the very presence that we allow to speak through us, that we allow to, to have its way with us. And so let's just keep doing that more. Let's just know that there is always success when we are committed to it when we know without a doubt that there's no other possibility, then success is assured. So I am just grateful to get this, to know this, and to know that if I can do it, anyone can do it. If I can know this, anyone can do it. So with that, let us just realize that we are so full of strength, that we are so full of talent, that we are so full of everything that is needed right now, that there's nothing that's an accident or there's nothing that can block that good from being expressed through us when we know it. And so what I know for everyone here is there is a deeper expansion of this knowledge, of this awareness of this just getting who we are ah oh, and this feels good this is growth this is forward momentum and this is the only momentum there is so with this i just appreciate i open up i know that i am overflowing with thankfulness right now for knowing this, for 
sharing this, for speaking this. And together we say, and so it is.